what I eat as a Parisian girl in New York. So actually, I'm back in Paris now. However, I did film a bunch of clips of New Yorker style food that I ate in New York. Initially, this was just supposed to be like one whole day of me eating as a New Yorker. But then I decided to just throw in a bunch of clips of me eating so that you would get a more general idea of the food that I thought was typically from New York as a girl from France. So I really hope you enjoy. So for breakfast, I'm having maple and brown sugar instant oats. I feel like that's a very American thing, very New Yorker thing because it's very quick. So I'm going to be having that and then I'm going to be having some vanilla oat milk with that and then I'm also going to be adding some muesli on top of that. And also I'm having half a banana. We're sharing it with my sister. <laughs> Honestly, Americans do oats and muesli better than anyone else. There's always this taste to it, kind of like cinnamon, sugar, whatever, something. It makes it much better. If I were you, I would watch what you're saying to me Cause everybody play the victim till somebody gets vindictive And it's cruel that you're acting acute and naive Cause society will take your side for sure So I guess it's up to me To stand up and sit your attitude down Then I guess you'll finally see The devil in the mirror that you are These are so hard to eat Literally everything spills out of them because they're so full True. Yeah. Also, I like that in, with bagels, you can do both like, this one has like a bunch of veggies in it and like veggie cream cheese. And sometimes I like to get full cheddar and cream like, <laughs> like curds. We also went to a vegan Mexican food place called Ja Ja Ja, which was actually a recommendation from one of you, so thank you for that. And we got a plate of nachos to share with beans, guacamole, vegan cheese, and cream. And then we got beetroot and pinatas to share as well. And then my sister and I split tacos with beans, veggies, sweet potatoes, as well as a burrito, which had vegan chorizo in it, rice, beans, and veggies, and everything was absolutely delicious. We also went to Coney Island, which was so fun, and there we had a bunch of fried foods, which we don't really enjoy that much, but also there weren't any vegetarian options there, so we just had to get a bunch of sides, and it was fine. At least this is a no It's an awful house, now I want it to get you out. So for the true New York experience, I absolutely had to try Joe's Pizza. So I we didn't get a full pizza, we just got like multiple slices to try out different things and it looks so good. We waited in line maybe like 30 minutes. So it was not that bad, but we're very excited to try. So this is what it's looking like. This is for our friend, the pepperoni, and then my sister and I got mozzarella, tomato, again, mozzarella, tomato, and then a cheese one to share. So, I'm gonna try a little bit to see if it's worth the hype. Very good, but I feel like I've tasted pizzas that are as good. No offense. I've waited for a lifetime for you to calm down. Oh, nothing feels the same without. Okay, so I just finished the pizza, and honestly, we were a little bit disappointed. They 
honestly for us didn't live up to the hype I feel like they didn't taste super fresh and that's because the pizzas are like already made when you get them and so it, they were like the crust was a little bit hard so maybe if you get one that's like fresh out of the oven it tastes better but honestly like they were good but they weren't anything like extraordinary I wouldn't wait in line again for them I still love American pizza like for instance I love deep dish pizza from Chicago those for me are like the absolute best and are really worth it also I only ate like a slice and a half like the big slices because for lunch I ate like a bunch of fried foods and I was just not feeling more so I don't know maybe I also didn't enjoy it as much because I wasn't that hungry and it's not really what I was craving but also it was our last possibility to eat it and I really wanted to try it so yeah so we just got back from our weekly grocery haul and I wanted to show you what I got so most of this is from Trader Joe's and we have a few things from Target as well I found that the prices in Trader Joe's were much more reasonable like similar to Parisian prices so uh, we we're really happy about that so for like grains carbs all of that we got um, whole wheat bread we got two things of pasta we usually like whole wheat pasta but we didn't find any or like they were like very expensive so we got this and this is totally fine we also got two things of boxed mac and cheese we love that so much um, we got a thing of oatmeal as well and then coffee for my sister then we have the tortillas and that's it for the grains now for like kind of protein and stuff like that so well we have oat milk not really that much protein in it but you know <laughs> then we have beans um, we took pinto beans and then we have two things of cheese eggs mainly for me my sister doesn't like them tofu and then we took some uh, vegan butter and then vegan cream cheese and then for kind of like more fresh produce things like that so we have some zucchini then we have some pineapple blueberries two things of grape tomatoes we go through these like really quickly and then some lettuce and I think I think that's pretty much it this is for a week and we're probably going to eat out a couple times too and then I'm going to show you like a few meals that we like to make with this so first we like very simple we love cutting up the zucchini and then the, the tofu and then we put the tomato sauce and then we put the pasta and cheese on top really good then we also like making like tortilla wraps this is like almost all of our lunches we take like a few of these and then we put the vegan like cream cheese on there and then we put beans cheese and then tomatoes and salad like lettuce and it's really really good for breakfast usually we have like a thing of oatmeal oops with milk and then with some blueberries and then a very easy snack as well we just take some bread like a couple slices with the butter and then we have like some fruit maybe like some pineapple for instance and we have apples as well um, that we had like leftover apples and then we also have clementines. We decided to test Levant Bakery because apparently it's something you have to try in New York. So we got two cookies and we're going to share both of them. This one is double chocolate chip I think. Mm -hmm. And this one is peanut butter and chocolate. So we're going to share. So I'm doing this to eat like a New Yorker, but actually, to be honest, if I were to really eat like a New Yorker, we would have eaten them on the go because we saw so many people taking the cookies and just eating them on the go, which is not a Parisian thing to do. We took the cookies, like we bought them, and we waited to get home nice and organized with our table, our water, because <laughs> mm -hmm. that's the way that we enjoy them. I like that it's like really mm. soft. Why is it not focusing? Like, I like um, that. It's super good. It's super good. And it's still like unbaked. Usually I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, but this one had peanut butter. Yeah, same. Mmm. Oh, really? 
good. So good. They they are really good. They're really worth the hype. They're exactly totally worth your life. This tastes like a brownie. This is super good. Oh it's wow. So this good. is so good. It's mm. brownie Reese's. Yeah. Exactly. It tastes like Reese's. I'm glad we shared because I feel like Oh yeah. If I ate the whole thing I would get sick of it. But just half half of each it. is perfect. Oh my god. Another wonderful experience we had was going to a talk show. This one was called The View and it was an amazing experience. I definitely recommend oh, Like a summer breeze when I fall like autumn leaves and then after that we had a salad for lunch because balance is it good it's super good we have to catch on your console it's super good but we got a small one to share and it's going to be enough because it it's very filling and tastes like frosting it's carrot cake um from magnolia bakery which we heard was a must, must try. So definitely delicious, but also very, very filling. You know, filling. And very French thing to do. We took our pudding and we tried to find a spot to actually eat it sitting down because we didn't want to eat it like on the go walking. So we're at Walker Feller Center. And then another great experience was going to Stardust Diner. This was not the night after the salad. It's a different day, but I just wanted to share that as well and my meal there was waffle fries and pancakes and i wasn't able to finish any of it so that's all for eating like a new yorker and if you want to see more clips of other foods that i ate then watch my previous vlog on like me in new york basically i hope that this also helped show you that you don't have to be eating all whole foods fresh nutrient dense foods all the time it's okay especially when you're traveling you want to try a bunch of different things that's totally fine there is room to do that and not every meal has to be balanced so i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one bye